get us start in a comfortable seated pose. Any easy seat that feels good for you. May you find your position. I am sitting in a half lotus. As we are using our easy seat to help relax and wind down the mind and body here today. Ensuring that our tummies are tucked in at our navel. Our spinal cords are nice and elongated, meaning they are not sunken. Having control of our bodies. With our shoulders relaxed downward away from our ears, this allows us to relax and soothe the upper parts of our bodies. Taking a nice breath in. Exhale through the mouth. Breathe in deeply. Exhale. Taking a moment to notice how the breath feels within the body as we gaze our eyes downward or close our eyes. Breathing our palms at heart center, coming into a seated prayer. Taking nice, subtle breaths as we relax, silent meditation, five natural breaths. Two more breaths. As we flow our palms above our heads, coming into a seated salute, our fingertips flows up towards the heavens, allowing those shoulders to flow upwards. Fingers reaches the heavens, interlacing those fingers if that feels good. Our heart chakras open, our chin is up, allowing our arms to slightly flow towards the back of the room. This pose here is opening up our shoulders. It is relaxing and soothing the upper parts of our bodies. Take a nice, subtle breath. Two more breaths. Mm -hmm. Exhaling back to center, palms are above the head. Relaxing our palms at heart center. Breathing our palms back up in the air, coming into that salute. Flowing into that extended mountain, separating our palms. And we're gonna twist the body towards the right. Palms come downward towards the earth and we're gonna gaze over our right shoulder to go deeper in that twist, connecting that left hand to that right knee. You'll feel this nice deep twist. This is relaxing and soothing that spinal cord. It is also relaxing and soothing the upper parts of our bodies. We're gonna hang out here, four more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling the body back to center, coming into that star. Our palms, our palms are outward towards the sides. In our seated extended mountain, our palms are above our head, but they are not together. In our seated star, our palms are outward towards the side. So just taking a moment to notice the difference between the two poses as we breathe in. Exhale, twist the body towards the left. Palms come downward towards the earth as we gaze over our left shoulder to go deeper in this twist, connecting the right hand to the left knee. Feeling that spine soothe and decompress, opening up those shoulders. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, coming into our seated star. Exhale into our extended mountain. With our fingertips flowing up towards the heavens. Just going to feel that stretch. We're going to connect our left hand to our right elbow. We're going to allow our right hand to flow behind our backs. And you'll feel your shoulders opening here. So both our hands are up in the air. We're going to connect that left hand to that right elbow. Just touch it and allow that left, that right hand to flow behind the back. Yes. I'm going to turn around so you can see what I'm doing. So we are opening up. We are opening up our shoulders. We are just relaxing and soothing. It's like a deep stretch. 
Just feel that stretch. Our heart chakra is open. Our spinal cord is nice and elongated. Our shoulders are slightly flowed towards the back. Our chin is up. So this pose is opening up that heart chakra. It's also soothing and relaxing our back muscles, our trapeze muscles right here in our upper parts of our bodies. We're going to hold this for four breaths. Two more breaths. And we're going to switch sides. Now allowing that left hand to flow behind the back. We're going to do the exact same thing, opposite sides, feeling that stretch on the opposite arm. So I'm going to turn around so you can see what I'm doing on the opposite side. And our shoulders are opening here. We are relaxing and soothing. Just taking nice, subtle breaths. Feeling and stretch in the body. If we feel any discomfort, feeling free to come out of the pose. Two more breaths. And exhale, extending our arms back above our heads and our salute, palms together, interlacing those fingers. Now the arms to flow slightly towards the back of the room. That heart chakra is open, that chin is up. Exhale into center, bringing the palms at heart center, coming to prayer, relaxing those shoulders down with away from the ears. Maybe we do a couple of shoulder rotations here, allowing those shoulders to rotate up and rotate towards the back, feeling those shoulder rolls. We are relaxing and soothing the muscles we just worked. Going as fast or as slow as you choose. Four more breaths. Two breaths. We're going to find our pause at center and rotate our shoulders forward, lifting those shoulders up, rotating them forward, feeling the shoulder rolls opposite direction. Going as fast or as slow as we choose. Four breaths. Two more breaths. We're going to find our pause, relaxing our palms on our laps. Just taking a moment to relax and soothe. Eyes are gazed down, tummies are tight, spinal cords are nice and elongated. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Feeling those shoulders melt downward towards the earth. We're going to bring our feet in a bound position, coming into that bound pose, either domino butterfly, opening up those hip flexors. And we're going to slightly hinge at the hips, just allowing the torso to come downward towards the earth. Tummies are nice and tight. Allowing the head to melt downward towards the feet. Shoulder blades melts forward. You'll feel us here in your inner thighs. We are opening up our hip flexors here. Take a nice subtle breath, feel in the body soon. Two more breaths. Exhaling back up, coming into that diamond or that butterfly. And just to note, the diamond pose is a bound position when our feet are further away from the body. A butterfly is when our feet are closer towards our body. So they both look the same, but one is called the diamond. This is a diamond. I'm sorry, this is a butterfly. Feet are closer to the body. Diamond and feet are further away from the body. We're gonna find our feet back into a cross position, any easy seat that feels good for you. And if we have a yoga strap, we can grab our yoga strap. We're just gonna work on opening up those shoulder flexes one more time. If you don't have a yoga strap, that is, that is a-okay, but I'm just gonna show you a trick that we can do. We just did our hand behind our backs and we put our shoulder on our, we put our hand on our elbow to bring it back. We just did this. But let's just say we want to try another, another option with our students. We can also use the, the yoga strap to work the exact same muscles that we just did when we did it this way. So with the yoga strap, we'll place it behind our backs. 
I'm going to turn around so you can see. And see what I'm doing here? We're just stretching. Going closer to our hands. Going closer to our hands as we possibly can. And then we'll switch sides. So with the yoga strap, it may not be as deep. So if a, if a person cannot get into this position, we'll option to use that yoga strap. See that there? So these are just nice tricks for our students. Either the yoga strap or the elbow. So just taking a moment to Take a second to notice how that feels within the body. These are also prep poses to put our body into a cow face pose. Everyone knows what a cow face pose is. It is a seated position. When we are sitting, it is a seating position. When we are sitting with our feet crossed like that, that is the cow face legs. And in a cow face, in a complete cow face, we have our hands behind our back. See that there, that is opening up those shoulders, but we interlace our fingertips. But sometimes it takes a while to interlace the fingertips. So those two techniques that we just did, which was this, switching sides, and with the yoga strap, that will prep us to get into that cow face position where we have our hands behind our backs and we interlace our fingertips. I'm gonna turn around so that you can see what I'm doing. See how the fingertips are interlaced. And then we'll switch sides. That is that cow face legs. Now, sometimes people can't get into that pose, but they want to do the cow face legs. And that is A-OK. -okay. We'll sit in our cow face with our cow face legs and we'll go into prayer hands. See that there? We're still in our cow face, but we're now in prayer hands. Just relaxing and soothing the body here. Or well, we can go into that. We can even breathe our palms above our heads and come down to heart center. Cow face legs can also be just another seated position that feels good for you. It could be a nice, easy seat sitting here in our cow face legs. So we're going to take a moment to relax here in our cow face, either in our prayer hands, or we can try to work on our cow face with our shoulders opening up here using our yoga strap here in our cow face. You see a lot of people doing their cow face like this with the yoga strap. And we're gonna freestyle and play around in our cow face for five more breaths. That's getting familiarized with the pose as we relax and choose. Three more breaths. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale. We're going to come out of that cow face. We're going to come onto our hands and our knees. Coming into a tabletop pose. Relaxing and soothing our bodies here. Our palms are flat on the earth. Our knees are hip distance apart. We're going to drop that tummy down to the earth. That chin is slightly up. We are flowing into our cow pose. Noticing how this feels in our lumbar back, our lumbar spine. We're going to relax and soothe here for three breaths. Two breaths. As we flow to our cat, breathing our chin to our clavicle, tummies come inward, blowing our spinal cord up towards the heavens, cat pose. Three breaths. Two breaths. We're going to flow back to our cow, doing a couple of cat cow rotations at your natural breath. Four more breaths. Two breaths.
We're going to find our place back at center, coming back into that tabletop pose. And we're going to work on our thread and needle. We're going to extend our right arm up in the air, fingertips flows towards the heavens, gazing up at those right fingertips, taking a nice breath in. Exhale, thread the needle, that right arm threads through the left, heart chakra, chest comes downward towards the earth. We are gaze at our left shoulder. As our heart chakra is connected to the earth, you'll feel the body relax and soothe as we gaze our eyes downward or close our eyes, allowing our, body, allowing our minds and our bodies to just relax and feel one with our pose. Taking natural, subtle breaths. And if we choose to work on opening up our shoulders, we can take that left hand and wrap it behind our backs here. As we are gazed deeper over that left shoulder. So we are in that thread the needle, right arm threads through the left, wrapping that left arm behind our backs. As we are gazed over our left shoulder, just feeling that twist. Feeling that body relax and soothe. Heart chakra is connected to the earth. Mind, body, and soul is relaxing. Silent meditation, five natural breaths. We can also option in our thread the needle to extend that left arm above our head, palms flat on the earth. That is, a neck. that is another option for thread the needle. So left arm, uh, opposed to being wrapped around the back, we can extend it above our heads, flat on the earth, thread the needle. Three more breaths going inward. As we slowly come out of that thread the needle, we're going to come back into our tabletop pose. We are on our hands and our knees, dropping down to cow. Exhale to cat. Flowing back to our table as we extend that left arm up in the air, fingertips flows up towards the heavens, gazing at the left fingertips, taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale, thread the needle, left arm threads through the right, heart chakra comes downward towards the earth. We are gaze over our right shoulder, optioning to wrap this right arm behind our backs here and that thread the needle, opening up those shoulder muscles. Feeling this slight twist in the spinal cord. As our bodies relax and see, we are going inward. We are focusing on self. Maybe hang out here in silent meditation. Five natural breaths. We can option to extend that right arm above our heads, palms flat on the earth, and I thread the needle. Three more breaths. Slowly exhaling out of that thread the needle, coming back to our table. We're going to flow into our child's pose or our puppy pose. From our table and our puppy pose, our buttock stays high in the air as our heart chakra comes downward towards the earth. Relaxing on our third eye chakra, our forehead. With our arms extended in front of us, that makes it an extended puppy pose. Or in our child's pose from table, we connect our buttocks to the heels of our feet. Our torso comes downward towards the earth with our arms extended in front of us. We are now in that child's pose. Third eye chakra connects to the yoga mat. Mm -hmm. 
whatever pose we may be in, our child's or puppy pose, may we feel one with our environment, using this time to focus on us. Taking a moment to notice what is going on within our minds, within our bodies, simply being aware without judgment. As we relax here, silent meditation, six natural breaths. Allowing those shoulder blades to melt forward. Five more breaths. Optioning to breathe our palms together in a prayer hands above our heads. Child's pose or puppy pose prayer hands. If we choose, three more breaths. If we're in our prayer hands, we're gonna extend our arms back in front of us and we're gonna spinal wave our bodies out of our child's pose or puppy pose with those arms in front of us. We're gonna spinal wave using our palms to wave that body forward, using our palms to wave that buttocks towards our heels. So that spinal wave allows the spinal cord to relax, soothe and decompress. Feeling the rotations throughout your entire spine, including your neck, your cervical spine. Three more breaths. Mm. As we find our pause at center, coming back to table, we're gonna push our bodies up to our down dog, gazing at our feet. Mm. Pushing our torso towards our thighs, coming into that nice deep stretch. As we walk our dog by pedaling our feet left and right, ensuring our tummies are nice and tight here, having control of our abdominal muscles. Four more breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale center, we're gonna shift that weight forward, coming into a high plank, working the upper parts of our bodies here. Two more breaths. Exhale, back down dog, gazing at the feet. As we walk our feet towards our hands, complete forward fold. This is a full body stretch. This complete forward fold allows the body to soothe. It regulates the heartbeat. You'll feel this stretch behind your legs and your hamstrings as well. As we take nice, subtle breaths, we're going to soothe and relax. Taking a nice deep breath in, exhaling through the mouth. Noticing how this feels within the body. Three more breaths. Exhale into half forward folds. We have a straight back. We are slightly gazed forward. Noticing how this half forward fold feels within the body. Three more breaths. Hmm. Breathing back to complete forward fold. Exhale into half. Straight back. As we yogi walk our feet slightly apart. Creating that nice stance. Just coming nice and wide-legged here. Now we're in that wide-legged forward fold. We're going to bring our hands downward towards the earth. Allowing the head to melt downward. And if we choose, we can come into a rag dial by connecting our hands to our elbows. Feeling this stretch. Hands to elbows. Rag dial pose. We also can option to wrap or sway the body from side to side. Mm. 
Noticing that when you rock or sway the body from side to side, you can really feel it behind the legs and the hamstrings. So if we ever have a client that says they have tight hamstrings, a half forward to a complete forward fold to a wide leg, it could really help relax and soothe and loosen up those muscles behind the back, behind the backs of the legs. Chill out there. Four more breaths. Feel and stretch. Finding our pause at center, coming into a half forward fold. We are in that straight back. We are gazed forward. Feeling one with our minds, feeling one with the body as we are connecting to the universe, as we are relaxing and soothing here in our session. Two more breaths. Connecting the hands to underneath our knees. Hands come right underneath our knees. Get back is straight, chin is slightly up, still in the pose. As we now connect our left hand to our right ankle. We're gonna wrap this right hand behind our backs, how we do when I thread the needle. We're gonna gaze over our right shoulder. We are in our wide-legged spinal twist, feeling this. Soothing and stretching pose, we're also lengthening. It also opens up our shoulder blades, our trapeze muscles. Four more breaths. Feeling that nice deep spinal twist. Two more breaths. Exhale our body back to center, coming into that half forward fold. Flow into a complete forward fold, connecting the hands to the ankles, head melts down towards the feet. Three more breaths. Exhaling up to half forward fold. As we connect our right hand to our left ankle, and we're gonna wrap this left arm behind our backs, how we do when I thread the needle, as we gaze over our left shoulder. Feeling that wide-legged spinal twist, you'll feel that body lengthen and stretch, and you'll feel that shoulder muscles opening up as we soothe and relax. Take a nice, subtle, take a nice, subtle breath here. Mm. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, come into wide-legged forward fold. As we breathe, our hands behind our backs, interlacing our fingers. And we're gonna allow our arms to slightly flow up towards the heavens as we are gazed at the back of the room. Now we are in our wide-legged forward fold with our bound hands. If this causes any discomfort or pain to the shoulders, the upper parts of the body, please feel free to come out with just being a wide-legged forward fold. Otherwise, we're gonna hang out in this wide-legged forward fold with bare hands, five natural breaths. Two more breaths. Slowly exhaling out, breathing our hands to our ankles. We are now in our wide legged hands are to ankles. Head melts downward towards the earth. Walking our hands in front of us, breathing our feet together. We are in that down dog, gazing at the feet. Exhale, walking our feet to our hands. We are back in that complete forward fold, but we are no longer wide leg. It's complete forward fold. Exhaling up to half forward fold. As we come to our Tadasana, our mountain pose, palms are at our side. We are standing nice and tall with our fingertips flowing downward towards the earth. Our heart chakra is open. Our chin is up. Here in our Tadasana pose, we have our feet rounded to the earth as we are soothing and relaxing, finding our place in life as we are grounded. 
knowing who we are, knowing where we are, as we stand firm in who we are, and what we believe, and where we are going. Here in our Tadasana, we have our eyes slightly gazed down, or maybe they are closed. As we breathe our palms above our heads, coming into our standing salute, palms are together above our head, heart chakras open, chin is up. Interlacing those fingers, allowing the arms to slightly flow towards the back of the room. You'll feel this slight back bend. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, coming into a prayer. Palms come heart center. Relaxing those shoulders downward away from the ears. Here in our standing prayer, we're going to take this time to focus on self. Seeing what is going on within our mind and our bodies, we are being aware without judgment, always being kind and loving to oneself. With our feet grounded and planted, being strong and firm who we are, may we relax, solid meditation, six natural breaths. Four more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, relaxing our palms at our side. We are back in that Tadasana, that mountain pose. We're gonna come wide-legged, separating those legs, creating that nice stance. We're going to point our toes outward towards the edges of our yoga mat. Toes pointing outwards as we come into cactus hands. We're going to bend our knees, coming into that goddess, God stance. We have to work the lower parts of our bodies here in our goddess, in our God stance. We are building strength. We are toning and firming the lower parts of our bodies here. We can option to pulse up and down, or we can option to rock from side to side, or we can simply stay still. Whatever we choose. Six breaths. Three more breaths. Exhale enough to standing star. Our palms are outward towards the side. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Here in our star, we are feeling strong. We are feeling powerful. We are feeling bright. In our darkest days, in our darkest nights, we will always shine through. We will always find our way. We will always make our way, no matter what. We are power. We will shine regardless. Four breaths of silence. Two more breaths. As we exhale back down to our goddess, God stance, standing in our power here in our goddess, our God stance, being strong, being powerful, building strength for lower parts of our bodies. Holding our goddess pose, we're going to extend our arms above our head in that salute. Goddess salute, palms above the head, heart chakras open, chin is up. Exhale a prayer, palms come heart center. Going back to cactus hands. Two more breaths. Exhale, wide legged forward fold, connecting the hands to the ankles, head melts down. This is a counter pose to what we just did. It allows us to relax and soothe our legs. Five breaths. Three more breaths. Walking our hands in front of us, bringing our feet together. We are back in our down dog, gazing at the feet. 
As we flow into a three-legged right side, lifting that right leg up in the air, feeling that stretch. Exhaling, breathing that knee to that elbow, feeling that tummy crunch. Back to three-legged. Knee to elbow. Back to three-legged. Knee to elbow. Flowing back to three-legged. Exhale, down dog. We're going to keep on flowing, building strength. Lifting that left leg up in the air, three-legged, opposite side. Flowing that knee to that elbow, feeling that crunch. Back to three-legged. Knee to elbow. We are feeling a burn. Back to three-legged. Knee to elbow. Back to three-legged. Exhale, down dog. We're going to drop to our knees, coming into a child's pose or a puppy pose. Whatever feels best for you, allowing that heart chakra to come downward towards the earth. That third eye chakra, that forehead is connected to the yoga mat. As our shoulder blades melt forward into the earth. Feeling that body soothe and relax. Gaze in the eyes downward or close in the eyes. And we're going to relax the body and mind. Feeling one with ourselves. Six breaths of silence. Two more breaths. As we spine and wave our bodies out of our child's pose or our puppy pose, using our palms to wave our body, feeling this in the spinal cord. Three breaths. Two more breaths. As we find our pose at center, we are back in that table. Palms are flat on the earth. Knees are hip distance apart. As we drop down to cow. Hmm. Exhale into cat. Lower back to our table, crossing our feet at our ankles, coming onto our buttocks. We are in a seated position. And we're going to flow onto our backs, coming into a knee to chest pose. Hugging our knees into our chest. Sir. Allowing those shoulder blades to melt back into the yoga mat. Gaze in the eye, the flows in the eyes. As we extend the legs up in the air, legs in the air, with our toes pointing up towards the heavens. Reaching our palms down to the lower parts of our legs as we breathe our legs towards our torso. Our buttocks might come slightly off the earth. Feeling that full body stretch. Exhaling legs back up in the air. Toes are pointing up towards the heaven. As we breathe our knees into our chest, hugging them in. 
allowing our knees to flow towards the left. Recline spinal twist, left side. Knees flow towards the left. Feel in that spinal twist. Right arm comes out to the side like a lowercase p. And we are either gaze up at the heavens or gaze over our right shoulder. With the body soothing and melting into the yoga mat, we're going to be back here. Recline spinal twist. Five breaths of silence. Three more breaths. Exhale and back to center, hugging the knees into the chest. Recline spinal twist opposite side, knees flow towards the right. Left arm goes to the side like a lowercase p. We are gazed up at the heavens or gaze over our left shoulder as our body relaxes into the earth. Solid meditation, five natural breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling our bodies back to center, hugging those knees into the chest. <sighs> Keeping our knees up in the air, we're going to place our feet flat on the earth. We are going to work on our fridge pose with our palms flat on the earth next to our buttocks. We're going to use our palms to lift our gluteus maximus off the earth. We're in that bridge pose. You'll feel your gluteus maximus getting nice and tight here. And we can option to interlace our hands underneath our buttocks. Walking our shoulder blades closer to our spine. Noticing your heart chakra comes higher in the air, as well as your hip flexors are nice and high. We are now in our deep bridge. This is working, rounding, and lifting our gluteus maximum. Here in our bridge, we can, we can pulse it up and down if we choose in our bridge, or we can simply squeeze it tight and hold it up there nice and tight. Whatever you choose, bridge pose, eight breaths. We can freestyle it, tossing it up and down or squeezing it nice and tight. Six more breaths. We are rounding and lifting that gluteus maximum. Feeling the squeeze, feeling the burn. Four more breaths. Two more breaths. We're going to pass it up nice and tight. We're going to squeeze it and hold it, feeling that burn. We're going to do a bonus. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Squeeze, squeeze, feel a burn. Uninterlacing those fingers, relaxing the body down to the earth, breathing the knees into the chest, hugging them in. Exhaling the legs up in the air, legs on the wall, toes are pointing up towards the heavens. Breathing our legs towards our torso. Breathing our knees back into our chest. 
rolling onto our side, coming into a fetal pose. We're going to relax and soothe here in our fetal pose for six natural breaths, just giving the body time to soothe. Two more breaths. Slowly wiggling our toes, rotating our feet at our ankles, moving our buttocks at our hips. As we are awakening our bodies, preparing ourselves for a seated position as we flow into a cow face legs, if that feels good, or any seated pose of choice. I'm going to come into cow face legs with our tummies nice and tight at our navels, tucking that tummy in, having control of our abdominal muscles. Our backs are nice and elongated, keeping that spinal cord nice and elongated, meaning we are not sunken. Always have a control of our backs. This also helps with lower back pain, keeping a good posture. Shoulders relaxed down, helps with back pain and shoulder pain and neck pain. As we take a nice, deep, intentional breath in, exhale through the mouth. As we flow our palms at heart center, coming into a seated prayer, ensuring that our chin is relaxed, our facial muscles are relaxed, our forehead is relaxed. As we go inward, silent meditation, six natural breaths. Two more breaths. I would like to thank, I would like to take this time to thank you all for allowing me to practice teaching training with you here today and self-care for it truly, truly is a blessing. The light in me sees, appreciates and respects the light and you all, namaste.